Woof woof! Hey guys, it's me Marcus aka The Mad Dog. It's the beginning of the month and you know that that can mean only one thing. Yes, it is time for your September 2021 edition of... Whale Watch. Whale Watch. This is the series that I do once a month and it was the one that even though I've got a bit of a hiatus on the channel at the moment, I knew I needed to come back and do so, you know, I'm going to take the pain that's in my eye at the moment and just carry on as if nothing's happened. But it's a video where we take a look at some of the books that might be going out of print, maybe some of the books that have gone out of print and you've got a last minute chance to find them, or maybe we can just find you a good deal along the way. I say this at the beginning of every video, but this isn't trying to create any kind of fear of missing out. I'm simply one fan of this hobby that's trying to help out others. But I've spent way too long already not doing videos so we're just going to jump right into it and anybody that's been watching this series at the moment you know we've been starting off our whale watches by doing our east of west check now it does look as if last month a lot of these were drying up so we're just going to see if they're all pretty much gone just yet but yeah so it looks like year two you couldn't get that one last month as well i believe it's already at double cover price year three is pretty much the same there's no new at the moment this is a little device that i use called keeper which keeps track of all of the prices that are going on amongst amazon and you can also track internationally so it is quite helpful the only place it says that it's guides Amazon Canada, but I'm not even sure if they'd have it in stock. Okay, so they do. So for any Canadians that are watching, let me know in the comments. But also, you can get year three of East of West. But year one was the one that even when year two had gone out of print, this one refused to go out of stock. But at the minute, this looks like it's on its last legs. So as you can see here, there's only one place it's got it, and it's Amazon directly. And they're also selling it for full cover price. It looked like the only other person that had it was someone used towards the beginning of July, and they were selling it for £85. But like Last month, the channel's sponsor, Organic Prize Books, did still have all three in a bundle. But unfortunately, it does look like that's now sold out as well. The only one that you can still get at the moment is Volume 1. But unfortunately, it looks like this is drying up absolutely everywhere. Probably a month or two from now, we won't even be doing an East of West check. If you did want Volume 1, like I said, you can still get it on Amazon and over here on Organic Prize Books. And like I said, they do sponsor the channel, so if you use code WOOFWOOF, you will get $2 off your order. And you can use that as many times as you like. It does greatly help the channel every time somebody does use that code, so it is great appreciated but we do have some good news and it was one that i predicted last month and then pretty much as soon as i was editing it got announced that it was properly happening but low deluxe edition has now got a reprint so this one right here i said that it might be happening we looked at it last month and it seemed like everywhere still had it at quite a high price you can currently order it from organic price books so i'd recommend getting it because that is cheaper than cover price and literally last month that wasn't something that you could do yes so already it looks like it's coming back across over here in the uk it's been sold by weirdry but you've also got a few other places that have got it but look literally beginning of last month people were selling this for over 600 pounds the reason this got a reprint is because of the fact that that volume 2 did come out but i believe that this is going to be the last time that these get reprinted for a good long while because of the fact that the series has now ended there isn't really that incentive to keep this in print so all i'd say is that if this was a recommended book that you're interested in that you wanted to pick up it is here now you can get both volume 1 and volume 2 over here in the uk and over there in the us from organic price books so it's just not really worth sitting around and waiting on it yet again in case it happens that you won't be able to find this next time it goes out of print but just sticking with the recommended news we've got some good news we've got some bad news so in the words of Dwayne the Rock Johnson from Fast and Furious 5 we're gonna have a pudding face and then go to the veggies because the good news is that Deadly Class Volume 1 and Volume 2 are gonna get a reprint it was confirmed 13 hours ago and normally it's the case that these type of announcements come after I've finished filming Whale Watch so it's nice to be ahead of the game for once but with the release of this Volume 3 they have decided to bring Volume 1 and 2 back into print so that is something that I know a lot of people wanted and in just a few short months because it says winter you will be able to get all three volumes by the way again if it is that you like Rick Remender's books and you know that Deadly Class was one of those titles that you wanted to pick up don't sit around and wait and assume that they might be available years and years down the line when they're in front of you right now as well I did just see this but they're already available for pre-order over here at Organic Price Books and actually this is a good technique because you have got the purple button of doom but because of the fact that we know that there's going to be a reprint what I'd recommend doing is clicking that notify me when back in stock, including your email address, and then as soon as they're available for pre-order, they will get in touch with you so that you can get a chance to buy it. So that is some good news, but some bad news is the fact that this picture is from Death or Glory. You'd think it'd be something about the actual book itself, but it isn't. It's just what we've got here. And he says that the Death or Glory oversized hardcover was wildly overprinted and is still almost entirely sold out. If you don't get a copy now, please don't fill me comments asking me for the next printing. They are very costly and near impossible to 
keep in print. Firstly, it doesn't matter how many times you ask somebody to not say something in your comment section, they're still probably going to say it. And secondly, we don't know if this is some kind of technique because of the fact that I do remember that he said stuff like low and deadly class were going to be expensive to reprint. And then look, they're reprinted now, but the fact of the matter is that this isn't something that's likely to get a volume 2, so I would take this at face value and assume that he is being honest because at this point, he's pretty much already got the money that he'd get because of the fact that he's printed it. So I do think he's saying this for the best interest of everybody that is interested in this book because he did something similar for Black Science. You can still get it available at Amazon, but there's only eight other places that are selling it. But it does look like Books etc and Speedy Head and a few other places have already not got it. Let's have a look at somewhere like Forbidden Planet and yes, as always, it takes me straight through to Power Rangers, which comes in handy more often than you'd think. As well, if I seem a bit out of it, it's because of the fact that I haven't done a video in a while because I've been taking that break just so I can heal up. So it might be the case that I'm a bit rusty, but just bear with me. But yeah, Forbidden Planet's still got it in at the moment. Organic Price Books has got it as well. This is the place that I got it from. Rick Remender really likes doing books that have death or dead in the title, doesn't he? Ah, okay, so it is still available from Read Comics as well. So at the moment, it does look as if this is a book that is relatively healthily stocked, but you never know how long that's gonna last. So if this was a book that you wanted, I know it hasn't really been available for a while, and it might be the case that you were hoping that you could get this a few months down the line, but £26 isn't as expensive as some omnibuses, so if you do have it spare in your budget, I'd recommend probably picking it up this month, because we do know that some of these recommender books, when they go out of print, they go out of print heavily. But you thought that I was going to end this with some bad news, but no, it's a good news, bad news sandwich, because we're going to end this little section at the beginning with some good news, because Terry Moore, the writer of Strange in Paradise, Rachel Rising, and this book right here, Echo, gave us some very good news that he announced, like I said, pretty much straight after I'd finished filming Whale Watch. But we all knew that Rachel Rising was going to get a reprint, it was already available over at Organic Price Books, and that should be due out in September, I believe. But Echo was another one of his hardcovers that went out of print and was very difficult to find. Terry Moore himself announced that it was going to be getting a reprint and it's going to be available at the end of this month or early September. As of the recording of this video, it isn't available just yet. And I agree with him right here, don't miss your chance to get your hands on these rare editions of these books because especially Rachel Rising as well, that was very difficult to get. But somebody asked the very important question of, will this also be available through Diamond for overseas customers? He did say, yes, but Diamond is under ordering these days. They may order 50 copies from us and the retailers ask for 200, it's crazy. So so it may be difficult to find. So what this means to me is that as soon as pre-orders come available, whether it's going to be organic price books, which are quite quick at getting them up, it might be the case that Read Comics gets a pre-order up or Forbidden Planet. Don't sleep on it. This might be one that I even get an emergency pre-order from just in case I experience issues, which is something that I would not recommend. It's a dangerous strategy, but for a book like this with how rare it's been and the fact that I really love Strangers in Paradise, it isn't one that I'd be sitting around and waiting for in case you think that it might go cheap. As soon as I see this, even if it's full cover price, I am getting it. But yeah, I wanted to make sure that I'm not just repeating books that I said for the last couple of months. Obviously there's going to be a couple that might have to crop up, but one that I think will disappear in front of people and they'll be disappointed that they can't find it is the Incognito Classified Edition. Now this is a book by the collaborative team of Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips, so it's one of those books along the lines of Criminal, Kill or Be Killed, Fatal and The Fade Out, but this is looking at supervillains. Criminal did get a reprint because of the fact that it was an icon book and they wanted to bring it across to Image. This is in a similar boat, but we haven't seen a reprint, so I think this is going to be one that it does fit in quite nicely with the rest of the Ed Brubaker collection. It's not like with Criminal where the spines were completely different. This is a standalone book that's on its own. That was a stupid thing to say. Of course it's standalone and it's on its own. That's kind of what it means. But if you look right here, it's been in print since 2017. There's only five places that are selling it and the cheapest is Amazon. You have got your book depository and that's really the only place that I've dealt with out of this list besides Amazon. But this is one of those books that everybody's slept on and I get the feeling that if it did disappear, there'd be a lot of disappointed people. Similar to the fade out and similar to Fatal. But as you can see here, you can still pick it up from Read Comics, but I can't seem to find it over here at Forbidden Planet. But speaking of Sean Phillips, and yes, I've just spent about 10 minutes scrolling through his Instagram comments just to find this one bit for you, but there was a bit of an on again, off again situation with the reprint of the Fatal Volume 1. Ed Brubaker announced it in his newsletter, but then literally a couple of days after, Sean Phillips said that there was no plans. But now they both seem to be on the same page because somebody asked if there any hope of collected edition of Fatal coming out soon, and Sean Phillips himself 
myself responded by saying no, but the first hardcover is getting a reprint. For me, we've heard it from both of them now. This has to seem like a thing that's happening. Again, like I said a few months ago, there's only talks about the first volume getting a reprint, and at the minute you can still get volume two. I've got this feeling in the back of my head that as soon as that reprint volume one comes out, all the volume two is going to dry up. But now we've had confirmation from both of them, so pick up that volume two. It seems like everybody's saying that there's going to be a volume one reprint, and as soon as I get further news on it, I will let you guys know. Now, because of the fact that, like I said, I'm going to try and branch out and not just repeat the same couple of books every couple of episodes, I did have a look at some of these Valiant books that I know a lot of you guys are interested in. It's something that I personally haven't started reading yet. I don't really know where I'd begin with it, which is kind of worrying considering I've got a series that's called Where to Start and I don't know where to start on this series. But the Exo Man of War by Matt Kent Deluxe Edition book one does look as if it's on its last legs. It's been in print for over two years now. It's near enough at full cover price over here at Amazon and there's only five places that are selling it new. The only one that's quite reputable is Book Depository. Just gonna have a look over here at Forbidden Planet and it doesn't look like there's any results that are showing up. Okay, now we're going over to Forbidden Planet. I think I might have just said Forbidden Planet when I meant read comics. It does still look like you can get volume one over here and it's saying that it was imprint in 2017 so I'm not sure if that was a different edition or anything like that. But still, like I said, I don't know a lot about this company, the way they publish stuff. It's something that I'm trying to learn as I go along. So if you know that Valiant books do go out of print and it's very difficult to get them, I'd recommend picking this up now just whilst you can still get it. Another Valiant book that I'm just going to highlight because of the fact that it's got a massive 55% off at the time of filming, but it's the Imperium Deluxe Edition. Now again, this came out in 2019. Take everything that I say with a pinch of salt because of the fact that I don't know a lot about this publisher, but from other publishers, it looks like a lot of those signs are there. So yeah, it has got a massive amount off, which normally doesn't really show that it's going out of print. But there are only five places that are selling it, and it looks like a carbon copy of what we just saw with Exo Man of War. The only reputable place that I know of here is Book Depository and Amazon itself. Nothing from Read Comics over here. Recommended me a lot of Warhammer books over on Forbidden Planet. Next up, now I don't believe I mentioned this one last month. I haven't got it in the list that I review before I do a whale watch, but I do remember mentioning the Helsing books overall. Now, if it was that you thought that I was just bluffing, look at this right here. Volume 1 is now at full cover price, and Amazon is the only place that's selling it. It's massively jumped up in price within the last couple of weeks, and up until then, it did look as if you might have had a few other places that were selling it, even if it was used. But I don't know if this is going to be similar to Berserk because of the fact that it has now finished. It only needed three volumes out, so there isn't really that massive incentive from Dark Horse. If it is that this isn't selling that well, I don't really know the publishing numbers or anything like that, but there wouldn't really be that necessity to keep it in print if maybe it is the case that something like Berserk is selling a lot more. And if you go over to Forbidden Planet, they don't have volume two either, so I do think that this is something that should be on your radar, and I'm probably pretty quickly going to pick up that volume three. You can still fortunately get all three volumes over here at Read Comics, but I'm not sure if there's going to be any restocks or anything like that. I've never seen this hive have anything in stock, I don't know why they even feature them here. But the cheapest place seems to be eBay, and I think this might actually be Read Comics's. Yeah, it's Read Comics's place. And it also says that it's the last one that they've got in stock, so I'd recommend jumping on that if you wanted it. But these Blade of the Immortal volumes are weird as well, they just haven't really come across here that well. But that is one that I'd definitely keep your eye on, and if you wanted it, I'd probably just be picking it up. Now, Mr. I'm not going to try and repeat myself is, of course, going to repeat himself because of the fact that Kaiju Max Deluxe Edition Volume 1, which it again isn't showing me the why is it not showing me the hardcover it's just not showing me the hardcover volume one at all it's been right dick one eternity later okay there it is i had to go through the artist page just to find it but i think this is on its way out now the price has steadily creeped up and dropped down a few times but there isn't a lot of places that are stocking this and as well this is a very impressive looking book i imagine it's not as cheap as some other books to print and it is being printed through only press who are quite hit and miss you've got examples of some some books that are really well stocked and then others that have gone out of print. But as well, the reason I'm highlighting this is because of the fact that for some reason, volume two just keeps dropping in price. At the minute, it's 54% off, which is a massive amount. Now, yes, obviously that price is likely to change, but it's been creeping down for quite a while. I remember when I saw it at £31 and I thought that was pretty decent, but now we're at 24. So I'm not too sure what's happening with this, if there's gonna be a volume three or anything like that. I believe there might've been because of the fact that I think there's some of this that still hasn't been collected until 
Deluxe Edition. But for me, that Volume 1, it hasn't got a lot of great signs and Volume 2 hasn't really, if we're being honest. Some Harrow County Library Edition updates because I know we got the stealth restock of Volume 1, but now it looks as if Volume 4 is disappearing. But Volume 4 was one of the only ones that was still in print along with Volume 1 and it's just shot up in price. There's now only one place that's selling it new and it's Amazon directly, but the fact of the matter is that maybe you were sleeping on this volume and who knows what's going to happen. I don't, else this show would be much easier to do. So this is one that I think is on its last legs because of the fact that we haven't had reprints of volume 2 and 3 even though they did tease it for a little bit of time. I'd be telling yourselves that if this was the one that you needed, just pick it up so that you can round out that collection. Another image title that I just do not have a clue what's happening is the Revival Deluxe Editions. The one in particular that I want to look at is volume 4 and as you can see here there's only a few places that have got it. Book Depository and Amazon are the only ones that we've dealt with but the price has dropped a little bit on all four of these except for yeah volume two's at full cover price damn that's only got two places that are selling it and again this is another one of those more obscure series i know some people really like this and some people really can't stand it so i know when i see some people's collections on instagram it always seems like they've got at least one or two volumes of these but they don't have the full collection i don't really think it's worth rating around to see if this is going to go any cheaper when it looks more likely that you just go out of print than it would drop in price okay so we're just going to be jumping into the dc section now i know there was a few reprints that were announced last month pretty much as soon as I uploaded the last episode of Whale Watch. We're going to talk about them a little bit at the end and see if anybody's tried to sell them off in some kind of fire sale. But starting it off, one of the books that I wanted to highlight is one that I know came up in about April, I believe it was, and it's one that I do think should be on you guys' radar. Now it's this one right here, Promethea Deluxe Edition Book 2. To me, this still looks like it's on its way out. There's only eight places that are selling it. There isn't a massive amount off over here at Amazon. You do have Book Depository and Weirdry, but there isn't really too many other places that we know that are selling it. It says that more are going to be coming in stock over here at Read Comics. It says they're going to be gaining it about midway through this month. But like I said, I do think I spoke about that one a few months ago, so I'm not really going to linger on it too much. But another one, looking at an absolute edition, is one that I think a lot of people might have slept on. Now, as we know, Haunted Night is one of the sequels or spin-offs to Batman The Long Halloween. It was one of the first books that I ever reviewed on this channel. But this has been in print since 2014. It's currently at full cover price and it says there's only three left in stock. The six places that are selling it, which normally sounds like a decent enough number, but they're all pretty much at cover price and there isn't really too many places that we've known and used before. However, the reason why I'm highlighting this one is because of the fact that it's pretty much an accessory to Long Halloween. And I know a lot of people might not have got Absolute Batman Long Halloween, but there might also be some people who only have that edition. You don't want it to be the case that you eventually want to get the complete Batman, Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale and Absolute Edition, and this is the one that you needed and then it disappears. Because let's be honest, even though we don't really understand what DC are doing, pretty much the majority of the time that they've existed. One thing that I can pretty much guarantee is that Batman The Long Halloween would sell more, especially if it was in Absolute Edition, if it got a reprint than Batman Haunted Night. I think as soon as these disappear, you're not really going to find them anywhere else, and it might have been printed in a smaller number than the main event. Okay, so the cheapest price it's quoting is the used price on Amazon. Seems like the cheapest price new is about £63. Superbook deals, I'm not sure if I've used them before, but it does say that they've got three of them available at the moment. But that is one that I think when it does dry up, it's going to be difficult to find a copy of it because of the fact that most people really want Long Halloween. And I've said this before in the past couple of episodes, and I probably should have said this at the beginning, but A, make sure you watch the previous episodes because a book that you might be worried about might have appeared in one of those. And B, it's not always just about me showing you books that have already gone out of print or maybe they're on the last legs. I also try to speculate what I think might be disappearing over the coming months. And the one that I think should be on your radar maybe in the next six months or so is the Absolute Preacher volumes. But other Vertigo series that have been released in the Absolute format that have come out in three volumes have also disappeared. So you've got stuff like Transmetropolitan and I don't really have a clue what's going on with the reprint of those. It seemed like we got a reprint of volume one and then they just gave up. You've also got Promethea and like we spoke about last month, Why the Last Man. I think Preacher is going to be in the same ilk as those books and a couple more months down the line you'll start seeing these dry up and then they might be difficult to get. But if I'm being a bit more realistic about it, I do get the feeling that if these disappear, they probably won't come back with a restock. They started printing them about five years ago so they have been available for quite a long time so I think this is going to be one of those series that's worth keeping your eye on it over the coming months because of the fact that they are quite expensive books so you don't want it to be the case that they all jump up to cover price and then you've got to buy three books at pretty much 120 quid each. If you are interested in getting this I think it is still available from Books Etc. Yeah Books Etc has got it there so it's probably cheaper on the website and build up your collection that way. I don't want it to be the case that a few months from now I'm telling you that you need to get all three because they're on the danger line and you just don't have enough money at that moment to get them all then and there. Next one 
that we're going to talk about and I wish I was talking about the Absolute Edition because it is one of my biggest whales at the moment and I've just never seemed to find it, which is the Justice Deluxe Edition by Jim Kruger and Alex Ross. I do get the feeling that this could actually get a restock because of the fact that titles like this and Kingdom Come are ones that are always pretty much guaranteed to sell a little bit, but at the same time it doesn't look like that restock's coming quick enough for me to say that I'm confident in that. At the minute it's only got about 30% off which is pretty decent, but it looks like Amazon is the cheapest place it's selling this and it does look as if the price has steadily creeped up a little bit. I personally would much prefer them to print the Absolute Edition, it was a book that I had in my collection but I had to sell it when times get tough, so this definitely should be on your radar, I think it is a great series that a lot of people would enjoy. Deluxe Editions are still pretty nice, yeah they aren't Absolute Editions but at the same time they don't cost as much of Absolute Editions. I'm not sure what's up with me, I really can't get my words out today. You can still get it at Read Comics, it is a slight bit cheaper over at Amazon but it is at least in stock, but still at the end of the day I do think this is one that should be on your radar if you wanted to pick it up. And yes, I do realise that I pretty much say that for new enough every other book that I show on Whale Watch. An omnibus that only recently came out, and the thing with DC is that some books can be in print for years and years on end, and then other ones like Wonder Woman by Gail Simone can just disappear without warning after pretty much being available for about two weeks. But the Superman Batman Generations omnibus by John Byrne is the one that we're going to look at. It did come out in March, so it's already been out for about six months. It doesn't really have a lot of buzz about it, so I'm not really too sure what the print one on this would have been. But look, it's steadily been creeping up before this it was around about the £34 mark and there's only 8 places that have got it at the moment and Amazon is the cheapest one that's showing it right now. You have got Book Depository and Blackwells and it says that they're going to get it within about a week or so. You've also got Weirdery so it looks like some of those reputable places do still have it but I genuinely get the feeling because this is a bit more of an obscure title once it does go out of print it's going to be difficult to maybe see a reprint of this but I do think it is worth keeping your eye on it if it is that you want to. It's a pretty decently priced omnibus and it says it's about 720 pages so roughly I do believe that is quite good value for money. Yes, I realise the irony that I've been saying that I aren't just going to keep repeating books that I've said months and months before but this is one that I think is on its final warning. I believe it was back in May that I mentioned this but it's the Batgirl U1 Deluxe Edition. Been in print for over two years now, it's a deluxe edition which for DC can sometimes go out of print and harder to find than some omnibuses and they don't really tend to reprint a lot of these so this is one that I think you probably would be able to find in a comic shop or something like that but still at the moment it does look as if that's pretty much gone from the main places now. Purple Button of Doom over here at Reed Comics and you can't seem to find it over here at Forbidden Planet. Batman City of Crime is another one that's just disappeared all of a sudden. I believe this was on the radar a few months ago but within the last month or so that's when it disappeared off Amazon. It was in print for just over a year and at the minute you can get a new copy from a place in space for just over cover price but this is one that I think has pretty much disappeared and it's just going to be lucky if you find it anywhere else. Nope, can't seem to find it over here at Forbidden Planet and unfortunately it's Purple Button of Doom over here at Read Comics. Another deluxe edition because like I said it's so difficult to keep track of these once you go out of print but JSA The Golden Age by James Robinson. This is one of those books that I know a lot of people enjoy but at the minute it doesn't look like a lot of places have got it. I do remember that for a little bit of time Zavi, a place that's over here in the UK and I believe they've got a website over in America, was selling this as one of their books that was in like a 5 for 20 quid or something like that. Although admittedly I kind of want that old Boy Steelbook, the 4K edition, that's pretty nice. But I can't seem to find it at the moment, but this might be one of those books that you might get lucky and see on eBay or something like that, because I do believe this was on clearance for a bit of time. Okay, so it says somebody's selling it on eBay for about £21, and that looks to be the same place it's selling it on Amazon. Yeah, so if you were tempted to buy this book, make sure you get it from their eBay page and save about 8 quid. I don't get why there's such a massive difference in price. Actually, it's because Amazon are an absolute rip-off if you ever try to sell your books from there. Like, honestly, when I was finished with university I sold a lot of my books through Amazon and I genuinely think I ended up making less money by the end of the sales. But another Alan Moore Absolute Edition that I do want to bring to your attention is Absolute V for Vendetta. This is one of the nicest smelling books that I've ever owned. I definitely recommend this if you're a fan of the series. I think it's a very worthy upgrade from a deluxe edition or a paperback that you might have. But the mini it's at full cover price over here on Amazon and it seems like it has recently jumped up to that. There was a little bit of time where it appeared to be out of stock and it looked like some third parties took advantage of that and charged new enough double cover price but the minute there are only three places that are selling it and there isn't really too many places that we know and one of them is even over cover price hmm, so there's not too many places that are selling it there either and it says that more stock are coming in over at read comics on the 17th of this month now what i will say is this could very well be in a similar case like sandman and watchman that because of the fact that it's a title that pretty much people want to buy all the time they could very well just keep it in stock and it's just one of those periods where there isn't a lot of inventory of it there's every chance that that could be the case right now but what I am saying 
is that this is a great book and if it is that you wanted it, it's always better to at least get it for cover price than over cover price. What you have to do, and this is something that I've done with myself a couple of times in the past, you have to ask yourself if you're happy to pay that price anyway. If it is that you just think that you might be able to get it cheaper, then it might just be worth getting it now because of the fact that you do still want it for that price. That's how I personally weigh it up and that's what I think you should be doing if this is a book that you're worried might finally be going out of print. Another one that I think is quite interesting is this Sandman box set. So it came out last year and it's got all 10 of the volumes and I believe it's got stuff like Death and Sandman Overture. Yeah, so it's got Sandman, Endless Nights, The Dream Hunters and Overture, but yeah, I can't see anything about Death there. Very beautiful set, but it is all trade paperbacks. And the thing with Sandman is that it's pretty much always going to be in print in some kind of format. And if it is the case that you're a trade paperback person and that's the format that you like to buy and you don't really want to spend a lot of time hunting down all these volumes, this box set would be very convenient for you. It works out at about 11 or 12 pounds per volume, so it's pretty much cover price for each one but there isn't too many other places that are selling it now it's only 15% off here at Amazon I don't really see too many places that are selling it for a decent price purple button of doom over here at read comics and I can't see anything about it over here at forbidden planet so yeah if that was the way that you wanted to get Sandman and you weren't happy with the dozen or so other formats that they printed for you I definitely have this on your radar now I mentioned preacher earlier and I'm just going to mention it again yeah it is one of my favorite series of all time so you should probably expect that but the preacher omnibus volume one now this this is something that I'm sort of 50-50 on. It could very well be the case that this is going to go something like the Final Crisis Omnibus and no, I don't mean that there's any kind of correlation between the story and if anything, I think Preacher is actually easier to digest than something like Final Crisis. But what I meant by it is that Final Crisis came out with an omnibus that said 10th anniversary and then they printed it again later on but without that label. Preacher could very well be the same that when the 25th anniversary is officially over, which I think it should probably be by now, they might just reprint it as just the Preacher Omnibus so it wouldn't be worth worrying about it but at the minute it's got a very decent 36% off over here at Amazon but there's only two places that are selling it and the other one is pretty much over cover price. You haven't got any books etc, Speedy Hen, Book Depository, Wordery, some of the places that say that they've got it even when Amazon doesn't and the fact of the matter is that that volume 2 has now been printed so if this isn't a massive seller and I don't really know if it is because this has been available in so many other different formats it could very well be the case that when this goes out of stock they haven't really got that much incentive to print it again now that they've completed the series but still i love this series so much that i would definitely recommend picking it up maybe you don't want to go for the absolute editions but the omnibus it's here it's at a decent enough price and i'm not really too sure if that's going to continue for a few more months now hopefully some good news this is a book that we spoke about for the last couple of months but it's the flashpoint omnibus yes it's one that i am still very eagerly waiting for but if we look here it hasn't been the case that a lot has come across to the uk lately but if we just have a look at some of the dates from the places that we trust blackwells are saying that they're going to be able to send this to you around the 10th of September to the 14th. Amazon says something similar and we've also got Book Depository with that same quote. What I normally do when there's a book that I'm looking out for, I will keep track of it and look at these dates and then around about the time when that comes about and then when that date comes around, I have a check and see if somewhere like Books etc or Speedy Hens got it. So using those dates it says to me that a lot of these websites know that they are going to get more stock and maybe that's an expected date that they've got in mind at the moment which means that because we're in the uk and pretty much every company gets stuff at the same time when they get in stock other places will as well and i'm hoping that these dates are accurate and this time next month maybe we'll all have a copy another one that's been like on a ping pong table of being in stock and being out of print is batman by paul dini this was so difficult to get last year i knew enough I had to pay full cover price for this then it was announced that there was going to be a restock I remember saying that Organic Price Books had it available for pre-order and it seems like we got quite a lot of them as well. But however, it already looks like it's drying up. This is such a weird book and it's so hard to keep track of it. You've only really got Weirdery that's a place that I know and have used before that is saying that they got it available to ship to you. And again, same logic as last time. They don't even say that they've really got it in stock at the moment. Amazon does and it says that they've got it available to ship to you tomorrow. So at least it does look as if they've got some available on hand. But this is such an anomaly of a book. I haven't really seen it consistently be available anywhere and because of how much the price increased when it wasn't available and people thought that it was out of print completely we thought it was similar to Wonder Woman by Gail Simone I would definitely recommend not waiting around and sitting on this if it was a book that you wanted and just to put your mind at ease if you feel bad about spending 64 quid I would have loved to have paid that amount another book that had a stealth reprint that I do think should be on radars now is the JSA Omnibuses by Jeff Johns yes don't worry I will definitely take a drink to that later on tonight because I definitely need one it's been 
been such a long week already. But all three volumes had a stealth restocking. Nobody knew that this was coming. It wasn't like an announcement like for what we saw with Gotham Central. But now it looks like all three volumes are steadily creeping out of stock again. Will we get yet another later restocking? I'm not really too sure because I believe that Jeff Johns has now left DC. I believe I didn't just dream that but I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But already the prices have been creeping up. 34% off is still decent overall. There's only five places that have got this and there's not many that are cheaper than Amazon. There's only one and it's that place that I don't really trust. You have got Book Depository but they're quite a steep increase in price. People were selling it for about 146 quid which is over cover price and then it became available again. But volume 2 was the one that people really had difficulty getting. Volume 1 was pretty much always available. Amazon saying that they're gaining it in stock on September the 11th which I believe is an upcoming Saturday and they are the only place that's selling it at the moment. We don't know how much of a restock this was. We don't know if they had enough to keep it going for a good couple of months but either way there were people that were paying about £300 for this volume alone. I got the entire set cheaper than that and I don't want people to be in a similar situation. We know how much of an increase scalpers can put on books like this and I don't want that to happen to you if it was that you're missing this volume. So make sure you plug those gaps if it was one that you needed in your collection. Maybe you've got volume 1 and volume 3 and you thought you had a few more months with volume 2. Me personally, I don't think you've got those few more months so here it is now and I just recommend picking it up if you needed it. Now, I don't know what this book is but it was something that I saw when I was searching for deluxe editions and it's Man and Superman by Marv Wolfman. Again, it's a deluxe edition from DC that's been in print for about two years so it could very well be the case that when this disappears it's going to be very hard to find. Or it could be something like Batman by Brian Azzarello and Eduardo Risso deluxe edition which suddenly went for cheap on something like HMV. Like I said, it's very much a guessing game and it's one that's difficult to keep track of. But yeah, I don't know what this book is is, but as you can see here there's only two places that are selling it and Amazon is the cheapest one so this is one that I definitely recommend keeping your eye on if you did want it and who knows it could be a book that you really enjoy. I am losing my voice a little bit so if I seem like I'm speeding up the more it goes on I apologize it's just I really need a drink of water. Next up a very overlooked deluxe edition is the filth by Grant Morrison. So yeah, this has been in print since 2015 and it is a deluxe edition, but at the same time it's Grant Morrison. That name is pretty much a recipe to print money over at DC Comics, so you never know, this might be the one deluxe edition that they do keep in stock. But for me, we've got some quite worrying signs, one of which being that Amazon is the cheapest place. But as you can see here, there is not a lot of places that are selling this book. And I don't really know what this is about. It seems like there's 13 issues, which for £17 is pretty decent in a deluxe edition. But yeah, from what I can see, actually is it? Oh shit, I didn't even notice that, so it isn't even Amazon that's really selling this book. Shit, that really- when was the last time this was actually in stock? Have we stumbled on something decent here? Damn. So you can get this new and it hasn't been in stock on Amazon since about early 2019- no, late 2019. Yeah, early 20. Yeah, early 2019, yeah, it's been a long week for me. Shit, so if that was a book that you wanted, maybe it's your last chance to get it, because it looks like it's been out of print or out of stock, maybe just in general, for near enough two years now. I like how I'm just highlighting how awful I am at doing this, that I don't even really realise when a book has actually gone out of print, even when it's been a good couple of years. Another one, though, that is a deluxe edition is the Cosmic Odyssey. I know this went quite cheap over on Zavi and also at HMV, but I'm not really too sure if they've got it available anymore. Okay, so it doesn't seem as if it's available here at Zavi. And as well, if you're in the US, make sure you check out BJ Kicks' link. I want to try and help him out as much as I can. So he's got like an affiliate link. So if you ever want to use Zavi, make sure you go to his channel and click that link so we can help a boy out. Okay, and it doesn't look like it's available here at HMV. Although they do still have Superman's Secret Identity for £11, which is a really great deal. And they've also got Face to Face and Year 100 that are currently in stock. So some great deals there, along with The Killing Joke for £6. But like I said, they haven't got Cosmic Odyssey, which is the book that we're looking at at the moment. It's been in print since 2017 and I'm not sure if Amazon, no so Amazon doesn't have this at the moment. The last time that they did have it was, let's see if I can get this one right, okay mid 2020. So this is a book that's done by Jim Starlin, I don't really know too much about the plot but at the end of the day I'm not just highlighting books that only I want, or it'd be a very short show I'm not gonna lie. But if it was that you knew about this title and you're interested in it and you wanted this deluxe edition it looks like it's on its way out so I'd recommend picking it up. The last DC book that we're gonna talk about for now until we get to that speculation bit at the end is the Flash Rebirth deluxe editions. Not to be confused with the Flash Rebirth which was done by Jeff Johns. I'm kind of hoping that we get some kind of 
omnibus, which would go nicely along with the rest of the flash books that we've already got, except for the fact that we haven't got an omnibus for Mark fucking Wade. But in particular, we're looking at volume three. So as you can see here, it's only got 21% off and it does look as if Amazon is the cheapest place at selling it. You have got Book Depository, but you haven't really got any of the other big companies that we know and trust. And the thing is, the hype around Rebirth has mostly died down now. Yeah, sure, if stories are good, they are going to stand the test of time, but I think it's going to go in a similar way to something like Batman by James Tinney in the fourth. That they will get omnibuses, that they'll get reprinted in different formats. So if it was that you had a gap in your Flash Rebirth collection, now is probably the time that I'd be chasing up some of those volumes so that you don't miss out. Okay, it's a new day, so I've had to change my clothes, but I haven't had a chance to wash my hair, so let's just move on and crack on with the Marvel books. And as you know, for the past couple of months, we've been starting this off by doing a final order cutoff check. At the moment, I don't have the finalised date for it, but there are still some books that within the next month, there's going to be a final order date where if you don't put in your pre-orders before that date, then it's not guaranteed that you're going to get a copy. This is the best way to make sure that nothing ever becomes a whale if you pre-order it and just make sure that there's never a chance that you're going to miss out on it. I'm personally going to be using organic price books because like I said, they do sponsor the channel and they also do have this convenient final order cutoff section. And as well, like I said, if you use code woof woof, you will get $2 off your order. And you can use that code as many times as you like, but just looking into it right now, so it looks like we've already got the pre-orders for Deadly Class Volume 1 and Volume 2. They are probably your high priority pre-orders because I don't think they'll be doing massive numbers of them. The third volume of the Sin City editions where it's coming with a slipcase and a lithograph and it's going to end up costing you quite a bit of money if you get all of them. Stuff like the DC 1 million omnibus, Who's Who Volume 2 and also the Death and Return of Superman. But looking at the Marvel books you can see we've got the pre-orders up for the reprint of the Darth Vader by Keevan Gillen omnibus. Even I'm tempted to upgrade my hard covers to this one just so I can make sure that I've got the full series in this format. I don't know though I'm trying to be a bit smart with my money so we'll see if that actually happens. And with it being that these are coming out in December I would recommend pre-ordering these sooner rather than later. We've seen that some of those reprints can disappear pretty much immediately and also with it being that I don't have the actual final order cutoff date at the moment if anybody does know please just leave it in the comments. It could be the case that it's going to be earlier than we expect for all we know it could end up being like the 7th of September or something. Hopefully it would be a little bit later. It normally tends to be around the 18th of the month that that's when the final order cutoff is but still nothing's guaranteed so make sure you get your pre-orders in for the books that you know you don't want to miss out on. We've also got the Book of Doom Omnibus. I much prefer this cover personally but I also do think that that one's going to charm. The reprint of War of the Realms which is something that I know a lot of people have been asking about especially this DM variant. Make sure you get your pre-orders in for that one. Thor by Matt Fraction which did appear in my Where to Start Thor and that is something that I do also wish would be accompanied by an Iron Man by Matt Fraction Omnibus but still that's up for pre-order along with She-Hulk by Peter David which I think has a very reasonable price. Moon Knight by Houston Benson and Hurwitz is also up for pre-order and I'm not even sure which of those two covers I prefer. I really like both of them but this one's pretty iconic to me. I think I'm going to have to go with that one. And of course we've also got Thought by Jason Aaron. Now if you were to ask me which book do I think is going to disappear pretty much as soon as possible it's going to be this one. Yes I do think they would get restocks but this is one that I can see causing a lot of fear of missing out because it's a title that a lot of people have wanted to see get the omnibus treatment. So even I'm going to make sure that I'm pre-ordering this one and I'm not sure which cover I'm going to pick up. I'm not really a massive fan of the Casada cover. I just don't think it really represents the series. But Whale Watch is all about predicting what might go out of print and this is one that I think will disappear in the blink of an eye. We have also seen Aliens the Original Years Volume 3 come up for pre-order and there's a few others from DC but I think a lot of these are also ones that I did mention last month. So those are the ones that I'd recommend getting your pre-orders in as soon as possible. You can use organic price books but you can also use other websites as well. I'm not really going to twist your arm if you don't want to. But the only place that I'm going to offer you a discount code for is organic price books. But there are some really great books as well so just make sure that you're budgeting so that you can get everything that you want because I really don't want you guys to miss out on anything that you might have wanted. Now moving straight into the books as you all know we can't start our Marvel section without doing our Chi check which is a section of the show where we check on a boy Shang-Chi. Yes did that first time then and I know that the movie's slowly being released I'm not sure if it's out here at the minute I haven't really kept track of it and yep I am ordering Animal Crossing on Nintendo Switch for Shadow Cat but looking right here volume 4 seems to have crept up in price it's now at full cover and there's only two places that are selling it. Volume 1 is for drastically over cover price and I don't think Amazon's actually stocking it. Volume 3 is the only one that's in stock at Amazon available for Prime. Volume 2 looks like it's being sold by, yeah, by Book Depository. Books etc is still got it and Amazon does have it for a fairly steady price. But it's your Volume 1 and your Volume 4 that have now pretty much disappeared. And at Read Comics you can only get Volume 2 and Volume 3. They're all pretty much at full cover price over here at Cheap Comics. It has got a cheaper price on Volume 4. But Deadly Ends of Kung Fu Volume 1 is still currently on sale. That is a good offer that I think you should check out if it was that you wanted it. But yeah, I'm still going to keep 
doing these cheat checks just for a little bit of time whilst it does look like some of them might be disappearing in different quantities. Although admittedly, it feels like I'm kind of saying the same thing month after month, so who knows, I might switch it up to be every other month. The first book that we're going to talk about is the Wolverine Omnibus Volume 1. Now, there was a slight restock that I noticed come across. I believe in stock trades had it for a little bit of time, but it then disappeared yet again and nobody really had a chance to buy it. Over organic price books, you can already pre-order it. It does say new release date to be announced, and it is just the DM variant that's available at the moment. But it was supposed to come back across here around the 25th of last month. What I would recommend doing if it was that you were still looking out for this one is sign up to get notified when it becomes available over here at Read Comics. That doesn't mean that you have to buy it from Read Comics, it just means that as soon as it is available, you're going to get an email to let you know. Then hopefully you will be able to find it at some other places. That's just what I'd recommend, but please make sure that you don't overpay for this. Some of the Conan books I noticed were disappearing a little bit here and there. The one that I think should be on your radar is Conan the Barbarian by Kurt Busiek. And it was a very sought after book, but it's been in print for nearly a year now, which in Marvel terms is pretty good going. There's only five places that are selling it, and besides Amazon, there isn't really anywhere that we've dealt with before. You can still get both covers over here at Read Comics, so if it was that you wanted the DM variant, even though I think the standard cover is just far superior, you can get them both there, but still there isn't too many other places that have got this on hand. Volume 2 of Savage Sword is a book that I'm surprised hasn't gone out of print yet because of the fact that Savage Sword of Conan Volume 1 has been out of print for so long, but it does look as if the original Marvel Years Volume 3 has just disappeared. It's been a few months since someone had it for a decent price, but with these Conan books, I do know that some of the bigger comic shops have been buying these in, and because it's a later volume, if it was that maybe you didn't catch up on these soon enough, you can start plugging these gaps if you are contacting comic shops and seeing if they've got them. You can't get Volume 3 over here at Read Comics either, so it does look as if some of these Conan books are unfortunately drying up. But, gonna give you a last, final, ultimate super warning on this book because it's the thought by Walter Simonson Omnibus. I've been saying now for months that this has been sort of dying a slow death into its way into whale status. And by whale status, I pretty much just mean out of print. You get what I'm saying at this point. But look, Amazon is at full price and there's only two places that are selling it, one of which being Amazon, and I have never heard of this company before. Although they have got five stars, so maybe it's worth a try. And it did only recently jump up in price, so it might be the sign that you can still get this and maybe another place. I believe this was on sale for a long amount of time over here at Cheap Comics. Yeah, so it's still on sale. It's not massively cheaper than what I thought it might have been. But still, you can still get it from there, and I do think that this is one of those that's on its last legs. I had the Defenders Volume 1 on my list of books to go through, but I've talked about that for like the past three months, so I'm just going to jump to the next one, which is Spider-Man by Roger Stern. This book only got released in about May, yeah, May, and as you can see here, it's already at full cover price, there's only 11 left in stock, and Amazon's the only place that's selling it. So it's been available for about four months, and it has crept in and out on its pricing. There hasn't really been too many other places that have been selling this. I've heard absolutely nothing about this game in restock. I don't know if there has been an announcement and maybe I just missed it. I'm not perfect. There are some things that do slip under my radar. As you've probably known if you've watched any more than one episode of this show. It's already Purple Button of Doom over here at Read Comics, which isn't a good sign. And the DM variant is just saying out of stock. And I can't seem to find it over here at Forbidden Planet. Both covers are sold out over here at Organic Prize Books as well. So this is one that I definitely do think should be front and center of your radar. If it is that you were annoyed when it went out of print last Last time when you saw that people were selling it for double cover price it might even be worth picking it up for just cover price at this point who knows though there could be a restock because marvel is doing yet another restock of stuff like annihilation so there is always that chance and with this being a seminal spider-man run and the fact that he is getting a movie coming out at the end of the year it wouldn't surprise me too much if it was that they were going to do another stock of this but at the same time i do also think it would have been announced by now so take from that what you will i'm only just going to point out to you the signs that i've seen as i've been doing my checks and that is a book that you don't really want to sleep on and miss out on yet again. Another one, as we all know now, The Amazing Spider-Man by J. Michael Straczynski Volume 1 is getting a reprint, which I know a lot of you guys are excited about. But at the same time, we haven't heard anything about Volume 2. They haven't said that it's getting a restock. They haven't announced that that's going to get another printing. So for me, I would definitely be getting this book if it was that you were looking forward to that reprint. Yeah, there's every chance that Marvel could do another stock of it, but let me ask you this. What if they don't? Do you really want to be stuck now with just a volume one, considering the fact that you've been looking at volume two for near enough a year now? You don't want to be that person. You don't want to then be begging Marvel and saying, why don't you reprint volume two? It's here right now, so why not buy it? If you're interested in one of the variant covers, they've still got that in stock over at Forbidden Planet, so you've got options, but I genuinely don't believe that this will still be in print, unless there's a restock or another printing of it, by the time that that volume one reprint actually comes around. Speaking of Spider-Man related omnibuses, we are now going to 
be looking at the Ven Omnibus Volume 2 and Volume 3. Now thanks to somebody in our Reddit page r slash Mad Dog Comic Community, there's going to be a link in the description down below. They relayed the information that David Gabriel's pretty much confirmed that there is going to be a Ven Omnibus Volume 4. Yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed about that because I wanted a Ven Omnibus by Rick Remendi. I'm probably going to have to get some kind of custom dust jacket for that. But still, we had a reprint of Volume 1 a couple of months ago, but we heard absolutely nothing about Volume 2. It's still got a pretty healthy 36% off and it looks like there is quite a number of places that are stocking it. But when you actually look at some of these companies, there's not a lot of big names that we know. So I can't confidently say that this is a book that's keeping healthy stock levels everywhere. If you can't resist the urge to catch up on all three Ven Omnibuses by the time that that Volume 4 comes out, you know, power to you. I think I'm going to stick to my guns and just get a custom dust jacket. But also you don't want to miss out on this Volume 2 and I know that there will be people who are disappointed if there was that gap in the collection. At this point we haven't heard anything about a restock so I can't guarantee that that's going to happen but at the same time I'm going to be looking at volume 3. Amazon doesn't actually have this at the moment they're saying that they're going to get more stock of it in September the 17th but having a look at the companies that are selling it you've got Book Depository, you've got Snowden Books and you've got Amazon themselves. Not a great number of places and like I said you never know Marvel might surprise us do another stock of this in time for that volume 4 but nothing's guaranteed. It's Purple Button and Doom over here for both covers of volume 3. They have got volume 2 in stock at the moment so if it was that you were missing any of these and you did want them I'd recommend looking at them this month. Another Venom book though that disappeared and I said it would a couple of months ago when we were looking at that Daredevil book. It is Venom by Donny Cates volume 1 the oversized hardcover. This one right here now it's already just saying temporarily out of stock but Venom is a big name and this is a series that is ongoing and it's quite popular and it's single issues. I know it's finished in the meantime but you know what I mean at the time when this came out this title was popular so there's likely to be local comic shops that would have ordered this in because it's not as expensive as an omnibus. So make sure you're looking out for that one and if you do see it I would recommend just jumping on it because another one that I was worried about was these Immortal Hulk card covers and in particular now volume 2. As you can see the only place it's selling it is a place in space. Amazon aren't even saying that they've got it and it doesn't look like anywhere is. There might be a shop here or there that you are able to find it in and if you do just buy if it was that you needed it. Here's a little tip though this shop the comicbookshop.co.uk which is associated with a comic shop in I believe Hull. They do currently have one in stock copy of volume one which isn't something that you can find over on Amazon. So for the one person who might get a chance to get that I hope it has helped you. Let me know in the comment section if you pick it up. But talking about these oversized hardcovers I think one that would now have to be on the radar is Fantastic Four by Dan Slott volume one. This one right here now as you can see it looks like it's healthily in stock at the moment. It came out in March of this year but that was around a similar time when Daredevil by Chip Zdarsky volume one came into print. Now I know that that series has a far greater level of acclaim so I'm not saying that these two are comparable but still I think this is going to be another one that does disappear and people are going to be wondering how they can get it. Don't let that be you if it was that you wanted this series make sure you're picking it up as it comes out because oversized hardcovers are less tricky to notice when they're going to go out of print. An omnibus that I genuinely forgot Marvel had even printed is one that was supposed to come out when the movie was originally supposed to but it's the Black Widow omnibus. Now this is like a collection of some of her first appearances but this is one that's been steadily creeping up at the minute it's got 26% off actually it was a little bit pricey before so my bad on that one but there's only 11 places that are stocking it I do believe yeah books etc is still got it and you have got book depository but it doesn't look like there's too many others so this is one that I think because of the fact that there wasn't a lot of buzz about it when it does disappear a lot of people might be left wanting this and by a lot I do actually just mean a handful and one book that should definitely be in everyone's collection I believe I last checked up on this around April time with Daredevil by Brian Michael Bendis now yes it's now back up to 28% off it isn't even Amazon directly that selling it primarily. Amazon's at 66 quid which you know isn't that much steeper than what they're advertising it for. You've got Book Depository, but again, you haven't got Books Etc, Speedy Hen, or Wordery. Both Volume 1 and Volume 2 are in stock at Read Comics, but again, I just get the feeling like this is one that's not going to last a couple more months. Considering all the reprints that came out, this seems to be the one that not a lot of people are talking about. So it's been out for nearly two years now. I think there's been more than enough chance to get this one if you wanted it. And this was out of print for near enough 13 years. So I don't really know what more I can say about that one. If 
you want it, it's there. And the last omnibus that we're going to put on the radar is the Star Wars The Old Republic Volume 1. Now I know what you're thinking, this only came out in July, is it the case that maybe there's more that are waiting to come across? Yeah, there's every chance that that might be possible, but look, there hasn't been a lot of places that are selling it new recently. And more than anything, this is Star Wars, and it's also classic Star Wars comics. So because of the fact that it isn't in the main eye, I don't really know if Marvel would have printed as many of these as something like Star Wars by Jason Aaron, which I know is getting a reprint. I think what this all depends on is this volume one. If it is that it gets announced that there's going to be a volume two, then I have no doubt in my mind that this would get a restock. Because it's Star Wars, it's a big name, of course it's going to sell copies. You can still get both covers over here at Read Comics. The DM is just beautiful. But still, Star Wars books are a bit of an anomaly. They can stay on the shelf for a while, something like Star Wars Droids or Star Wars Marvel UK. Or they can pretty much disappear instantly, kind of like Darth Vader by Kieran Gillen. So all I'm saying is, this is one that I do think is going to disappear without a lot of warning. So even though you might think that there's going to be other places that you can get it from, and I've kind of already proved that there is, it is one that I don't think you should be waiting around on for too long. So I'm just going to leave that with you there for this month. If it is that you wanted it, I'd recommend getting it. But now we are going to go into our speculation zone. And what we do here is I just look at some of the books that recently got announced that they're going to get a reprint and I see how much people are selling them for now. This is to highlight the fact that it doesn't matter if there's going to be a reprint. There are still going to be people that are going to try and scalp you. I believe the omnibus reprint for Death and Return of Superman got announced pretty much on the 2nd of August if I remember correctly because it was pretty much the day before Whale Watch and I remember filming that the first day of the month. But look here, somebody sold their omnibus a matter of days ago for over 50 quid of cover price. Even some of the lesser sought out editions were selling for about 100 quid. Jesus Christ, somebody still managed to sell this for 217 quid. That was pretty much the day when it got announced. Maybe it was just before if it was, congratulations. On the person who's selling it, it's very unlucky for the person who brought that. But look, 235 pounds. I know that was an international sale, but still it's just highlighting the point that it doesn't matter if there's going to be a reprint, people are still going to sell it for over cover price. Gotham Central was another one that I was very excited to hear is getting a reprint. But look here, pretty much today it got sold for over cover price. 130 pounds, Jesus Christ, if you just wait a matter of months, I know obviously there's always that chance that DC might cancel it, like, I'm no stranger to that, but still, I don't get why people wouldn't just wait. £91, £75, £108. Jesus, that was after the reprint was announced and somebody sold it for £200 and had multiple people bidding on it. At the end of the day, you've got to do what you've got to do to secure the bag. Again, yeah, at the end of the day, I guess it is up to the people who are bidding on it to make sure that they're getting a good deal. Because at the end of the day, there's always going to be some people that are trying to make money. But all you can do is make sure that you're looking out for these things. Things. But what I would recommend is that if there's a book that's been out of print and sought after for a while and there's a sudden influx of them, maybe just look around, look in some of the Facebook groups, maybe some of the Reddit pages, because I don't want you guys paying twice as much of what you should be because you could have pretty much got a good couple of books for that same amount. Another one that got announced was the 52 Omnibus, which I'm tempted to upgrade my trade paperbacks from. Someone got a pretty decent deal there, but apparently the binding for this copy was just awful. But look, £137 somebody brought that for. God damn that death. Stroke Omnibus jumped up in price as well. £108 and this was after it was announced that there was a reprint. But those are the books that we're going to look at as part of the speculation. I'm going to try and do just a couple of these at the end of each episode because this is the part where we're actually watching whales. We're seeing the prices that they're going for and if there's any books that you want me to feature next month just let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to leave this video here. Thanks again for everybody that supported me whilst I'm taking a bit of a break. I'm not really sure how much longer until I'm fully recovered and I can just do videos in the same way that I was before. But at the end of the day I'm not just going to bring out videos for the sake of doing it just to fit some kind of schedule. I want to make sure that I'm bringing out videos that I'm proud of and I feel like you guys will get some benefit from watching. So if it is that a video doesn't come out for a couple of days, just know that I'm working on something and it's going to be worth the wait. Hopefully, I can't actually guarantee that. But still, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Definitely make sure you're subscribed if you're new here and if you could do me a favour, share this video where you can. That along with using the code woof woof over at Organic Price Books is really what's supporting this channel whilst I'm taking a little bit of a hiatus. As well, I do have a coffee tip jar in the description down below. I don't expect anything, but it is greatly appreciate when people donate to that and it's helping to get this merchandise off the ground. Hopefully I've got some very excited news to do with that coming out soon. But until next time, whenever that may be, and that actually is something that is a variable at this point, but until then, just make sure that you stay safe, stay reading the best books that you can find, and stay mad all you dogs with Roof! See you at the next video.